Hey there, it's Matt Williams, your favorite evangelist. Well, I just found out about something so cool, I just have to share it with you right away. You know, in fact, every other video, well, most other videos I've done on this channel are, you know, well scripted and I'm talking to a teleprompter and it's very polished and I'm in my studio downstairs, but this time, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, at my desk upstairs in our bedroom and yeah, just, just wanted to wing it and, and spit this video out really, really quick because I'm excited about transcribing video. So, you know, one of the things I do with all my videos is I post it, but then I also post the script, which gets converted into an SRT file by YouTube. And then that file shows up as captions within YouTube. Sometimes people would like to, you know, maybe they're distributing the video some other way and they want to have the SRT file. And so you could just upload it to YouTube, let it do its transcription, keep it a private file, and then delete the YouTube video but download the SRT file first. And that's a one way of getting kind of a cheap transcription, or you can use any of these transcription services. And then there's, there, there are a lot of, there's other options you could use as well. But I just stumbled on something that is free and really cool and seems to work really, really well. And just takes you know a few minutes. Uh, so I thought I'd show it to you real quick on uh, you know, just just do a quick demo and and then you can see what it's like all right let's get into the demo okay so here i am in final cut pro and in fact this is the uh the beginning of this video that you're seeing on screen uh so i can you know, scroll back a bit and it just takes you know a few minutes uh, so i thought i'd show it to you okay so there's that video um and maybe let's say i want to have a transcript of what I just recorded. So how do I do that? Well, um, you know, actually I can't just take the original file because uh, let's take a look at, you know, I've got some edits here um, where you, I mean, you can watch. And then there's, there's these weird jumps all over the place. But so I've got this, I've got this video uh, project. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go up to the menu and I want to, let's just say export. And I'm gonna do audio only. You can do it at Wave or MP3. I'm gonna do MP3 to keep it short. And let's click on Save. And I'm gonna call it Whisper because that's the name of the tool we're using. Okay, so it looks like that's done. I'm just gonna start up iTerm. Here I am in iTerm and that file, hmm, where did I put it? Probably under Downloads because that's where I usually tend to put things. What was this called? Uh, probably called something like Whisper. Oh, there it is, Whisper MP3. Cool. So what I can do is run Whisper, and I'll use Whisper.mp3, and model tiny. And, and really, that's all I need to do. So press Enter. It, first thing it does is figure out what language am I speaking, and then it starts transcribing it. And you can see there's this transcription. Pretty amazing. It's gonna take a few seconds um, to do this. Uh, for a three minute video, I don't know, uh, actually it's two minute video. I don't know what that take, about uh, just a few seconds. Depending on the model you use, so tiny is the smallest, then there's small, then there's, I don't know, there's something bigger than that. Depending on which one you use, as you get to bigger and bigger models, it'll take longer and longer uh, for a five minute video I did earlier. Tiny took a couple minutes and small took more like 10 minutes to transcribe. But now I have um, Whisper. There's uh, a few files that were generated. There's an SRT file, there's a text file, and there's a VTT file. Um, let's go take a look at Whisper SRT. And here is that transcription formatted as an SRT file. We can just kind of tap through it or space through it. Well, you know, that was pretty easy. All I did was run uh, Whisper. And then what's the name of the uh, MP3 file? And then which model I want to use. So actually I can do dash dash help. And when I look in here, um, 
can see that the options are tiny. Uh, oh, tiny just for English or tiny. Base just for English or base. Small for English or small, medium uh, or large. And I thought tiny was only English in general, but it turns out tiny might be other languages as well. And maybe tiny.en is even faster uh, because it's a tiny, tiny, tiny model. Then if you're using other languages, you can specify what language it should recognize. Um, I have no idea what temperature means or best of, but those are the, all the options. To find out more about Whisper, you can go to the OpenAI slash Whisper repo on GitHub. So the URL for this is github.com slash OpenAI slash Whisper. And there's a whole bunch of information about what it's doing. Out of this image, I understand none of it. Install Whisper. First, you need FFmpeg. Um, so brew install FFmpeg. No idea what homebrew is. Uh, look at this URL, brew.sh. I've also got a YouTube video from a few years ago talking about homebrew on the Mac. And then I actually had problems. You know, the next command is running this command, install the whisper git repo. But I had a problem running that because it kept complaining about not being able to find Rust. And so what I actually did was brew install Rust. Install that and then the pip install the whisper repo worked. So that's, uh, that's the one gotcha in the documentation. So you install that, and then you've got the whisper command. You can just run whisper in the name of your uh, audio file and the model, and boom, you got a SRT file. And then here are the different models uh, that are available and roughly how fast they are. So tiny is 32 times faster than large. Here's the important part. Whisper one or more audio files and then specify a model with dash dash model and which model you want to use. It's interesting that you can also specify a language and you can specify that you want it to translate that other language, such as Japanese, into English, which is just like amazing. And, uh, and really that's all there is to it. So now with that, you know, I can come back into Final Cut. And let's say I want to come up to the file, import captions. And there's the Whisper MP3 SRT file. You can import that. And it has just added my captions to this file. Hey there, it's Matt Williams, your favorite evangelist. Well, I just found out about something so cool I just have to share it with you right away. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so that's it. You saw how to, you know, you're gonna export some sort of audio file from your video editing tool and then run Whisper on it. And within seconds, if you're using Tiny, you can have this uh, SRT file, which you can use, then use in, well, however you wanna use an SRT file, which is spectacular. I think I've seen these types of things cost, you know, they're, they're often X number of uh, pennies per minute and that quickly at builds up and maybe you get a limit of 10 hours per month uh, for, you know, 30 bucks a month or $40 a month. You know, if this is a little bit fiddly, maybe that cost is worth it, but it's not really that hard to install, you know, to, to use Brew, to install uh, FFmpeg if you don't already have it and then install Rust, and then install um, that uh, Whisper repo. Installing the Whisper repo on my M1 Pro Max machine, that took several minutes, five, 10 minutes to uh, install it, to do the full build. So it can take a while, but, uh, but that's it. It's, it's um, mind-blowingly cool. I'm, uh, I'm very excited about it. This is me super excited. Maybe I should go rah. Rah, I'm so excited about this, this thing. Um, and I, I just wanted to share it super quick. Okay, thanks so much. Uh, this is Matt Williams, uh, evangelist for Infra HQ. Uh, we do um, single sign-on and access management for your Kubernetes clusters. 
uh, check us out at infantryhq.com. But this is a personal video, and uh, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Well, who knows when that is? All right, bye.